Andre, a certain left-footed Trinidadian has joined the Bundesliga's by. Yes, and it's not Avery John. Find out more in one minute. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Extra Time TV. This is Andre Soklan. I'm Kevin Campbell. And as we were speaking about before, yeah. you know, big news to Trinidad Tobago, one of our left-footed players, one of our star players, Jovan Jones, has made a jump yes. to Germany. A place where I spent some years, you know, also known by, you know, I love when Kevon says it. What's the other name for Germany? Deutschland. Yes, Deutschland. Not Deutschland, Deutschland. <laughs> so basically, you know, a lot of people in the, in the comment section below ask yeah. about that. So please, not the offensive to him, yeah. it's Deutschland. So, yeah. exciting news, you know, I never thought Seattle Sounders would get rid of this guy. Yeah. He's loved in the MLS. Yeah. He's one of the outstanding players right now. What do you think about this move, Kevon? Andre, any time a player gets to play, in one of the big leagues, in one of the big countries in the world, especially in Europe, with such history and such a tactical nose, yeah. it's a good thing. So even though we know Seattle is one of the, probably the best team in MLS, he won the cup last year with them, yeah. and he's loved, it's a bigger step. He's going to have better training methods and a different culture. Yeah. And who's the coach at Darmstadt? Thorsten Frings. Yes. We know Thorsten Frings. He know, fans will remember him from being part of that Germany World Cup 2002 team. Not a really good team, but still a worker final team. Yep. And also, he scored a great goal against Costa Rica in 06. But Thorsten Franks knows Jovan Jones because he played in the MLS for Chicago and Toronto. So yep. he knows him. And anytime Jones can, because again, he's a left. I'm interested to see what position he plays because he's a left footed player yep. who plays at left back for um, Seattle, yep. but he plays as a left attacking player for Trinidad. So I want to see what position he's going to play with at Darmstadt. Darmstadt is a team that they got really good last season but they're one of the best teams in the Bundesliga Zwei, which is the second division. Yep. And they're actually um, third place on the table right now. So he's going to join actually in January because his contract with the Sounders, it's until the well, season ends, which could be November. So he's not going to be imminent, but next year he's going to be playing there. And I can't wait because Darmstadt, I'm, I think that they can gain promotion. And if they do, he's going to be playing in like the West Palace Stadio, the, the Allianz Arena. The, in Schalke, so I want to see that. Yep, I'm excited because for years we had a problem in Trinidad where we did the flow of players outside Trinidad to Europe, Trinidad yeah. to Vigo to Europe. It stopped. You know, the Dwight York and the Anthony Rogers and the Russell Latipedes and the Brent Sanchos. And maybe we took it for granted. We had these players. They may not have been in top leagues, yeah. but they were all over Europe. And you know, there was a, you know, if you want to argue though, there was a correlation between their success and the 2006, you know, team being at that team. It stopped. And Levi Garcia, now, you know, uh, Jovan Jones. It, it hopefully is the start of a new trend, and I believe it, we have lots of things going for us. I think it's only a matter of time before Molino also makes the jump. Yes. And it also re establishes Trinidadians and Trinidad Tobago as a team that produces quality players. Uh, for example, um, this guy, uh, Plaza and these guys, they've been going all over to, you know, the East and India and all these other places, which is, which is okay. Yeah. But the fact that it's in Germany, which is an established country, is exciting. He's a mainstay in our team. Yeah. It can only bode well for the present and future of our national team. It is a very well-established league, whatever level. Some people are arguing, oh, well, you know, and this is nitpicking. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's oh, it's a division, lower division. But it's the German league is a powerful league. Yeah. And the fact that any Trinidadian player is being called there at this point in time, it only, can only serve as a stepping stone because he is good enough. And we as Trinidad Tobago fans of football have to hope that he makes that step. We have seen him, he's more than capable. I'm surprised that Sounders let him go. But I think it's a sign of good things to come. As you said, I'm, in, I'm very much interested to see how uh, Fringe, Fringe is going to use him. Um, you know, I think he obviously is going to use him in an attacking capacity. He's very much familiar with the club. So with that being said, you know, we're going to keep track of this. And we're probably going to have a segment where we're keeping track of Trinidadians in Europe. I think that for um, Jovan Jones, I mean, that club, Darmstadt, they have World Cup winners playing with him. Yeah. It's going to be a Kevin Goskowitz, who played for Dortmund and Germany in last World Cup. He's a teammate. Also, Hamid Altentop, who played for Real Madrid most recently. Yep. So, it's going to be players, it's going to be rubbing shoulders with a lot of good established pros and guys who are football hungry. So, that's going to be better for him. And I think he's our best player, Andre. Like, our most skillful, our most our protagonist, really. And um, Darmstadt, remember that in the Bundesliga, our last player to really play there was Evans Wise yep. for SSV Ulm. So I think they can continue this trend because it's a good league and he's going to even be better. Uh, 
uh, you know, I, as I said, there's a lot we can speak about. And Trinidad Tobago fans should be excited that players are now starting to move around. Yeah. I mean, Jovan Jones is a highlight. He is, in fact, I think our most talented player right now, uh, followed closely by Levi Garcia and Molino. So we have excited options. And what it does is it starts off flow. Yeah. Because now you don't have players start meeting in one league or maybe staying in the pro league and the development gets stunted. They go into the MLS, and I always keep telling people that the MLS is a natural stepping stone yeah. for Trinidad players. Before, we had issues with work permits. Uh, players would not go to English clubs because they would not get work permits. Now, we could go to the US, uh, Mexico to a lesser extent, and it, it's serving as a bridging point to head across to Europe. In previous years, players used to go to Portugal, like Ulja and those guys, and they would use that and then jump across to England uh, because of the work permit issues and so on. But, as a Trinidad fan, and as a fan of development of Trinidad Tobago, this is exciting. This is exciting news, and we will definitely be keeping an eye on this guy. So we'll dedicate the entire segment you know, to be looking at Trinidadians abroad. Darmstadt. Darmstadt. <laughs> so basically, with that being said, you know, comment in the comment section below. We know we have lots of Trinidad Tobago fans in this, uh, you know, following us. Yeah. You know, so it's exciting news. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think this is a beneficial move? Do you think it benefits for Atlanta Bego? Mm -hmm. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. So with that being said, Kevon, where can we find you? Kev Ace is eight on Instagram and Twitter, Andre. You can find me at Andre Suklal on Twitter and Instagram. Be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, comment, also like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter at Extra Time TV TT. Because when you comment, like, subscribe, and do all those things, you automatically qualify for a chance to win a copy of FIFA 17. And also, when FIFA 18 comes out, you get a chance to win a copy of that. And also, so many gifts, the upcoming games, the cultural qualifiers against Honduras. Honduras. Yes. To do that, we have been waiting for your comments. Lots of benefits. Do it because it makes Kevin and I happy. Yeah. And you know, that's all we need to survive. Yeah. So subscribe. Okay, guys. So that wraps things up of this episode of Extra Time TV. Be sure to tune in next time and like and subscribe. Check us out below.